Ah, back in Mass Effect 2. One, one, damn it. Was a fair bit. With my squad being stuck somewhere. Okay. Excuse Let's me, talk. Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yes, sir, dude. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Ah, oh, she probably was turned into a... husk. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. She's a husk now. I won't get her back. That would be the most logical thing. Let's see, expensive bar. Is this the expensive bar? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Test. Okay, nothing. Probably looking at the door. Interesting. Ah, will he talk about Garrus? Shepard, what can I do for you now? No? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. To say about Garrus joining me. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Oh, experiments. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests oh. we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Oh, God. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Got some quick experiments in. In the meantime. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Uh, uh. What are you? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Asana. I think I know that name. Thanks a bell. Ah. Oh, okay. Only one way back anyways. God. <laughs> I'm running. In a weird way. But the elevator down now. Doesn't want to talk about Garris. Weird. And here we have a mission. Welcome to Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming home. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I have to restrain myself to not make fun of his accent. Oh, I like running. It's good exercise. But it's good looking, even in this game. Oh, I took my gun again. Tally symbol is true to a cutscene form. Nice. I like this face more and more than the other ones I tried in the other 
Mass Effect games fully modded. Lucky you. Okay, let's talk to Balaboon. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Ooh. Isn't that something we already asked? Damn it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. Disappointing. Hmm. Was there anything else around? I don't think there is. Oh, just conversation. Let's see if I have enough Bergen points to guide him away. This one humbly submits that it is not. This one only wishes to spread. Any progress with that Hanar? Not yet. Sorry. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. In a few more years, I got it. Maybe I need a spec to start this. It's damn jellyfish. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. No. Let's get down there. There's no way the Council can ignore us this time. Saren's days as a Spectre are done. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the Council. That was kind of glitched. And I believe her outfit is glitched. Is it all black? Is it supposed to be that? No, it's not right. Did I download a Dark Knight outfit for her? Maybe it's just the light. She's getting stuck again. Oh no. Okay. We're seeing the cutscene. Our outfit looks if it's all black. Or if it's just a gameplay glitch. It's a modding. Such. Huh? Keeper guy is already gone. Quest lost forever. Oh, no, damn it. I'm waiting to speak with one commander. Okay. Damn it. Not yet. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. 
He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Oh, send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Oh, I probably need to pay for it and I don't have any money. I thought the ambassador would be a little more oh. grateful. I didn't even thank you. She's fully black. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Back to training talent unlocked. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Through all my time at CSEC, I, I never got the chance to witness a meeting of the Council in person. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. Oh, special. We're running with big dogs now. Hear us. No, I just want... Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. 
I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can. Anybody else around? No, oh, it doesn't look like it. But I wouldn't believe it. I hope he's okay. Era. You. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? Huh. We humans have to stick together. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Shouldn't have called them something fancy. Maybe something like the unreliable would be better. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I don't know yet. Oh, we got a good crew. That is armor. Even if it might be glitched, I don't know. I've downloaded the mods like four months ago. I always take out my guns by accident. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Uh, I'm with Garrus in this one. That's probably the best solution. Anyways. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. What the hell? Oh, this quest again. One more time. Before I go off into space. Damn it. This one humbly submits. This one only wishes yes. to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if oh, you'll excuse yeah. me, I should report to my superiors. Come on. A little bit. Oh, I don't need to go. So, let's try the Impedance Office. And then we're gonna try to go to the Seasick Academy. Fast travel. Lost trouble. First time playing this game, it's blind. So I don't know every way. Oh, I could go to there. Let's see. Huh. Wait. It's not part of Welcome to the what I need. Allow me to be your guide. I don't even know. I need to meet him in his office. Oh, if everything's gonna be explained to me, damn it. Ah, when I enter, I mean leave. 
Vallahi iyi. Ah, video editik tam kat. Just for a bit of story. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. Mm, that sounded more like a roast than an apology. Okay. Isn't that hard to find? The end. I believe. Right here. Now we can go back to a ship. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. Mm. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. That's all probably in my price range. Yeah. Yeah. I have that money. Almost could buy that. Almost. No, actually no. Actually no, I could not. Oh. What a cheap things. Oh boy. Yeah, cool. Thanks for showing me the advanced stock. I wish I could see the weapon floating and not just a briefcase. What a waste of my time. That's the dock, right? Presidium. The dock. You seem to be attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike rootless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another homeworld, you would not run into such concerns. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna take you to again on elevator rights. No. Lovely ship. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I don't know which order is the right one. I know there's a bad order. But I'll get Liara first turn. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I wish there would be some background music. Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? 
Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human specter, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Oof, long talk. Let's just get into space. And then it's over. Enter. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in. That I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Huh. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. 
This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Um, we're done. Cut. Big cut. Find it back on the ship. Now I'm gonna explore, talk to people, and then we're gonna start and launch a mission. Oh, result. <laughs>